Hello, um, it's been a long time since I've made a Joy of Mac video, so I thought I'd better do one. Uh, this is the second one in the series, so it's a very occasional series, so sorry about that. I'm going to be talking about Apple's uh, Pages, which is part of their iWork software. Uh, it's an office suite, and uh, it's trying to rival Microsoft Office, and I think it does so very well indeed. Um, Really, what I'm going to say is going to have more effect um, with people working on Office for the PC. In particular, if you're still stuck with Office 2003, it's probably the worst build that there ever is. Um, for example, in Microsoft Word, uh, as soon as you try to put a text box in, you get a drawing object. That's one of the delights it has to offer. So here's pages starting up now bumping up and down on the dock I'm going to choose a blank document here okay and uh, I think I might just change the view here uh, zoom uh, boom I don't want to do that just drag that make it a bit bigger so that you chaps can see it and view, and zoom, fit width. Okay, so here we are, um, and we've zoomed so that we've got a fair amount, a fair chunk of the page on the screen. Now, uh, Pages is kind of like a desktop publishing uh, suite uh, application and a um, and a word processing application rolled into one. A bit like uh, how the new Office 2007 and Office 2008 apps are supposed to be uh, for Microsoft people. Uh, Apple makes it so much easier though. Uh, if I show you what I mean, okay, I'm just going to put a, a couple of objects and some text onto this page. Okay, so text box, to start with Hello, I am a toad. Boom. Now, select that. And you word users on PCs won't be able to do this, but you will be able to if you're on a Mac, although it's not quite as um, slick um, in Word 2008 for the Mac. So here we go. We're going to go fonts. I'm going to choose a nice font that I like. This is one from defont.com called Honey Script. And I'm just going to click and zoom up like that until I've got that the way I want it to be. Okay, hello, I am a toad. Okay, now you've got these smart shapes here. They're just called shapes. Uh, you can use any shape you like. However, I'm just going to be boring. and I'm going to choose this sort of curved edged squarey thing. Um, you'll notice that it's gone right over the top of my writing and if I move around you'll see that the wrap is turned on okay now anyone who's ever tried to insert a picture into Microsoft Word will know that it can be really awkward you have to right click and format the picture you have to choose all sorts of options and click all sorts of advanced things watch this the inspector called the toolbox in Word. I'll show you words in a minute. Or at least it's, this is Mac Word. Uh, Word 2007 for the PC I don't think has a toolbox. Nothing like this anyway. Okay, so I'm going to choose image fill, but you can have a color fill, a gradient fill, advanced gradient fill, which is a gradient with more options, um, and a tinted image fill, which is like a watermark. But I'm going to go for image fill. Uh, I'm going to hit Toad in my search box here. Okay, and what have I got here? Oh, I've got a Toad in the pool. So oh, I'll just put that in. Okay, here is my photo of a Toad landed in my garden. We've got an old swimming pool in the garden that doesn't work. I'm going to fill the box with that, like that. And now I can move that around. And you'll still notice I've still got the wrap on because uh, I didn't turn it off. So here we go. 
Uh, all I need to do is hit the wrap options up here, switch the wrap off. Okay, now I can move that. You'll notice these blue lines, which don't even appear in uh, Word for the Mac, but they're helping you center where you want your uh, picture to go. Okay, so there we go, that'll do, that's fine there. Okay, I could pop it here. Okay, and I can just arrange and send that backward so my writing can come over the top if I so wish. I mean, this is just a demo, so it doesn't really matter so much what it looks like. Okay, um, now I'm going to choose another one of these shapes just to show you a gradient. Okay, you notice that the object causes wrap is on, but look, I haven't had to click into any more menus. It's just there. It's still in front of me, just being applied to a different object on the screen. Okay, so there, and just drag that, move that as I wish. Okay, again, that's not of any consequence today. I want to go back to the graphic options here. Look how compact it all is. Okay, nip to the gradient fill, choose some colours that I want. Okay, perhaps have that one, and then change that one. And that's maybe a bit better. Okay, I can change the line. I can have a picture frame, sh should I wish, although I do think that sometimes these are rather gimmicky, but I mean, if that's what you wish, I don't really want that. So I'm going to go to there. Um, I can add shadow, which always looks very good, but I'll show you that in a second. I need to arrange send that to the back, so it's brought, brought my writing back here. Okay, play with that if I want to. Okay, nip to this. Okay, add some shadow. You can change the angle where your shadow is, if you wish. Okay, a little reflection. Okay, to look like the dock, maybe. Okay, but anyway, let's turn that off, don't like that. Okay, um, and uh, Click that again and add some shadow to it, um, and sorted. That's what that's what I'm going to do today. All right. If I open perhaps something to show you uh, what I've done before, things. I mean, I'm an infant school teacher, so okay, here we go. We'll open that one. Okay, and that literally took me, I suppose, uh, the most complicated thing was downloading the clip arts. That's one thing that Pages doesn't have, by the way. It doesn't have loads of fancy clip arts. So um, I use clipart.com, which does cost, but you get some really high quality clip arts, better than Office Online ones anyway. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. As I promised you, I'll quickly show you um, the layout of Word 2008. Okay, so up comes Microsoft Word. This is Pages. Okay. Um, look, never gets bigger. Okay, we'll go back to Words. Okay, all right. In order to get, you know, even some of the basic things, you've got to Go down here, look, that's your center and right hand and justify things. But it's okay, so you could end up because there are just so many features um, here. Well, probably there's not that many more features in uh, Word than there are in Pages. It's just that uh, Microsoft, for some reason, just does things in a really cat handed way. Okay, so there's a very brief look at Word. Can do similar things to um, to, to pages, but it's just uh, very long-winded. And um, I think the switch from Word to pages for me has been very intuitive, very very easy. And um, apart from a few things I have to do for work, I'm never going back there.